Hey guys, KWG here. So this is just an update, you know, to the last video that I made regarding the untradeable six star weapons. Okay. Because there was a discrepancy that I didn't show that only one person caught on and it made me think, oh, wait a minute. I was originally reading the Japanese article and I switched to the English one for the sake of my video. But the wording in the Japanese article is different than the one that's in the English article. And we're going to go over that now. So in the original English article, the one that I showed you guys, they are talking about they're making considerations to ensure that players can enjoy the challenge of getting their hands on the rarest equipment available. There's nothing wrong with that, actually, because, again, the crafting system back in base PSO 2 made that really awesome. And I would love for something like that to come back. Because even if for whatever reason, the weapon that I'm farming for does not drop, at least I'm getting materials to be able to trade that for. That's one of the things that I really enjoyed about the getting weapons in base PSO2. And I thought for NGS, there was going to be a system similar, right? We know that transmog is coming back, but a lot of the systems that made PSO2 base games so awesome and so fun and so easy to get into, right? They kind of took away. And that's just where I want to I want to start that but in the Japanese article they took a different stance and they basically said here right that they're making it so that way some of the weapons are farmable and it doesn't exactly say that unless you translate it from Japanese to English but using Google Translate doesn't exactly give you the whole uh the whole image here anyway because it says digging the equipment of the highest rarity at the time of your own power <laughs> that doesn't exactly make sense but basically farming the equipment of the highest rarity at your own leisure right basically that leaves us with two implications and the one that a lot of the japanese player base including myself took from this was that they were making it so that we the weapons that we are going to get are farmable and this is why I thought that that was not a good system because we saw the bad things that happened when weapons were only farmable for the longest period of time, right? We saw that weapons in base PSO2 were like, hey, wait a minute. The ant, you have to farm Anjanet, oh, not Anjanet, that's about stunner, Anja, right? From high like from morning to night to be able to get one weapon and it may not even be the weapon that you look to drop and that was something that happened in japan and in the u.s version when that game finally came over we only had new types but we still had a glimpse of that farm right with the uh with the ultimate versions or the nightmare maps that would happen i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head somebody's in the comments gonna be like you're not a player you're a lot anyway anyway listen Right. <laughs> right. But we had a taste of that, but not as bad. And we and that system is terrible. That system is awful. Right. So unless Sega is looking to add in a crafting system for the weapons, in addition to making them farmable, then that's the only thing that I have to talk about there. You have to be able to make it craftable. Now, the other reason why making weapons untradeable and new genesis specifically is because we have the fixa system the fixa system makes it almost impossible for somebody with bad rng you may get the weapon but you still need to get a weapon with a fixa on it to even transfer it to your weapon or right or to be able to just have it in general so you need to get not only farm for the weapon, but then you need to farm for the weapon with a fixer on it. That's a lot. And that's why I'm talking about the things that I am, because there's steps in that that just make it unfun. But if you can make it craftable, these weapons don't come with fixes or there's an item where you can add a fixer to it later. Then these are things that will then minimize my arguments. And you know what? Make it so that way. Hey, I'm wrong. And I'll shut up because I have no problems admitting that I was wrong about a lot. You can go back in a lot of my previous videos where I'm like, I was wrong. That's it. And you can even go back to a lot of my previous videos where I'm praising Sega for the things that I do. And I, even on Twitter, I'm constantly praising Sega for the improvement of the game. And I'm saying that what they're doing is creating a game that is, it's taking a while, but they also just hired new staff and they just took in a lot of changes right that are probably different from their original vision of ngs 
and they're making the game work. The game will continue to thrive and it'll continue getting better. I have no doubts about that. But when I see things like this and I'm like, oh my God, they're making mistakes like with bikinis and outfits like that, right? Of course, you created <laughs> that scenario, so you're to blame. The players buying it, right, aren't the blame because if you created a whole bunch of different outfits, then yes, they're gonna they're gonna buy them, but they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be like, oh wait, I didn't even think that I'd like that, so let me do that. And you don't even need to make nothing but bikinis to make things sexy. That's the that's the idea that I also have because there's a lot of games out there where I'm like, god damn. That's a sexy ass words of whatever that might get me demonetized here on YouTube. Right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. Right? And they're not even close to revealing. They're just sexy. And I think Sega has the ability to do that because they did that back in base PSO2. But they just fell into the loop where, like, let's make bikinis because that's what people want. No, people who are playing type two characters or female characters, or whatever word you want to use, right? They want sexy. They can only really get sexy right now because of bikinis. However, if you gave them something else, that would be just as awesome. And these are the things that I was talking about in the previous video that I think people just kind of missed over and they were like, oh my God, he's playing Lost Ark, but he's also criticizing New Genesis. I like Lost Ark. I love New Genesis. There's a difference. We are not the same. I can enjoy other video games while also enjoying my favorite game. <laughs> All right. That's a thing. But these are kind of the, this is the conversation. And these are the things that I wanted to elaborate on because I feel like a lot of people in the last video kind of didn't understand that. And there was the discrepancy that was there in the first place between the English and the Japanese article. So just as a heads up, right? They specifically mentioned farming the equipment in the Japanese article. And the, you, and the English article, they did not. That's it. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed everything that was happening in the most recent update. There was a lot of cool quality of life things. Uh, and I'm actually going to be making a video about that because I, I want to talk about the good that NGS is doing right now. Because I shit you not, I saw a lot of people are like, this is why I'm not playing NGS. Oh me, hold on. Because they're doing some good things with the game. It's taking a little bit too long for some people, but they're doing some good things with the game. And it shows. So, anyway, that's going to be my next video. Stay awesome, guys. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.